Well, it's that time of year again. The time of year where everyone gets together, family and friends, and enjoys the festive holidays with each other. And I mean, for me, that's included as well, but Christmas time is always a little bit special since it's that time of year that I actually got started on my Pokemon journey many, many years ago. It's never really been something I've been able to kick either. It's always been a franchise that I've always looked forward to, for better or for worse, and in many different regards. Granted, I'm not like the top person that's ever been a part of the series. I'm sure there's more people that have done all the different like spin-offs and all this stuff and have watched definitely watched anime more than myself. But I have my own stories, I have my own experiences with Pokemon that I will never forget and I always enjoy. And to celebrate the holiday season, I figured I would go over a few of the small little stories I have experienced at least throughout my entire life. Not even just journey, my life with Pokemon. And if anything, I would love to hear from you guys what you think of these stories and maybe even a few little tidbits of your own. I would love to hear about them. But, anywho, here's the first episode. Merry Christmas! So back when I was younger, my parents, bless their hearts, set a pretty strict time limit for my ability to play games. It was 30 minutes a day, half an hour, not a lot of time. And you could probably be thinking, yeah, that's really not a whole lot to do. You'd be right. <laughs> but throughout that time when I was younger, there was a lot of things I could do throughout the day, regardless. It was going outside and homework, school, all that kind of stuff. So it wasn't awful. But you certainly couldn't do a whole lot in a Pokemon game in a half an hour. That's maybe a route in a town rock tunnel if you're lucky. <laughs> but regardless, so there was one fateful night that my parents decided to go out. They'd taken my sister out to gymnastics practice and I was left home alone. And being a little devious person myself, I decided to sneak some time in with the game. See how far I could get while they were gone. I was in Fuchsia City, trying to go through the Safari Zone to get Surf and the Gold Teeth to get Strength, obviously. So, for me though, the Safari Zone wasn't my favorite place to go through. I could never quite get the whole bait and rock system down, I so I just, I mostly ignored it. I paid it no attention. I already had a team pretty much set up anyway, so it didn't matter. However, on this fateful night, I had a chance encounter with a Chansey. Now, I had never actually seen one of these in-game. I always seen it in the show. Obviously, when you go to the Pokemon Center, there'd always be one with Nurse Joy. But I'd never actually seen one in-game. And all the stories from my friends would say that, like, you know, this thing is, like, next to impossible to catch. So, I decided to give it the time of day and give it a shot. Now, I had no intentions on using it because I still think Chansey's aren't the best-looking Pokemon. Not really. Meh, I don't like them. Anyways. I decided to try and catch it. So, one bait and two Pokeballs later, I catch it. Fairly simply. It was quite easy, to be honest. And I was quite surprised. And I was like, hey, I got a new rare beast. I'm going to be quite excited to check this thing out. So, I finished up with the zone and proceeded on my way through to get everything else I needed from that area. So, after I went back to the Pokemon Center, I decided to go and check out my new beast. Only to be met with a flash of horror. My parents were back. Now, you could be thinking I could go and run back to where we usually keep the Game Boy and put it back all nonchalant-like. However, my parents could see you through the living room window, so they would kind of notice me dashing off in a panic trying to get everything ready, and they would usually catch on to stuff like that. So instead, I decided to turn the Game Boy off and shove it underneath the couch pillow and act like nothing was there, hopefully until people would move on and I had a chance to move it back into position. So everyone came inside, yeah, everyone got situated and all that stuff and no one was noticing so I decided to kind of sneak it out and put it back when no one was looking. I thought it was pretty victorious, I did a fairly good job of sneaking that away, only to be met with a shocking revelation the next day. In my haste to be nonchalant, I forgot to save. All that work, wasted. Because I just forgot to do one basic thing. 
<sighs> and to add salt to the wound, the next day when I was going through it again, I ran into another Chansey. However, I threw one Pokeball at it, and it ran. Never to be seen ever, ever again. <sighs> always save, kids. That's always the best advice I can give you. <laughs> Thanks for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. It is always the backs that go on these things. <laughs>